Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed video. And in this one, we're going to talk about leaves. Uh, leaves on lawns and leaves on borders rather than leaves that are still on the trees. So whether you have a formal lawn or a more interesting wildflower lawn like this one, you really don't want a multitude of leaves lying on the grass for a prolonged period. Eventually they would smother the lawn and the grass would go yellow. You can see how many leaves are still to come off this sycamore and how many have landed in the week since I was last here. So as you can see I've started raking the leaves off this section. There's already a half a dozen have fallen back, a dozen have fallen back in and another one there and another one there. So, <laughs> so it's constant. Oh great. Um, but again they, you don't want too many leaves lying for a prolonged period on, on grass as they will smother the grass. And especially again in the case of a wildflower lawn because the worms will start to drag those leaves in and that will add nutrient to the soil which again you don't want for wildflowers particularly. So we're going to eventually get all of this off and clear it as much as we can and then next week do the same again and the week after probably the same again until all these leaves are off. This little lace looks quite splendid at the moment but as you can see there's quite a lot to, to fall from that still. But what I usually do is leave leave the leaves in the borders and that is to do to allow what I've just mentioned before to happen naturally which is the worms dragging those leaves in eating them, digesting them and excreting them back into the soil as nutrient rich little parcels because as anybody knows who's tried composting leaves they take quite a while to break down but through the digestive tract of a, a healthy earthworm they're reduced to usable nutrients and minerals in no time at all so don't clear all your leaves from the borders allow them to lie there uh, which is what happens naturally you know nobody comes and clears the leaves from forest floors and woodlands and everything thrives there quite well without any interference so for the sake of your borders allow them to get a little bit of nutrient return to the soil during the autumn and winter months because during the spring and summer shrubs and perennials have been sucking up lots of moisture and lots of nutrient in order to grow into this sort of thing so you must allow some nutrient to naturally return to the soil. But you don't want it in here on your grass. Form alone, yes, you do want some nutrient, but then that's why we mulch cut. Just take the tips of the grass off and allow that to drop back into the soil and return the soil's energy and minerals and nutrients that the grass itself has been depleting in the process of growing. So two different systems there. But uh, there's something quite nice about the autumn. The colours mainly. It certainly doesn't bode well for what's about to to be flawless, which is winter, 
This is my least favourite season. Anyway, happy raking and I'll see you in the next one.